Welcome to another episode of Buy and Sell with Lindsay and Miguel. I'm Lindsay and this is Miguel. Today we're going to be talking about contingencies. What are contingencies? So a contingency is a condition or action within the real estate sales contract that becomes binding once the seller and the buyer agree to the different terms. So now that we know what a contingency is, we're going to talk about the most common contingencies found within the real estate sales contract. So Miguel, what is a home inspection? Let's talk about that first. So a home inspection is exactly what it sounds like. Think of it as test driving a car before buying it. You're going to meet your home inspector at your new property and you're going to check out all of the major uh, components that make up a home. So you're going to check out the life of the HVAC, the water heater, the foundation, the life of the roof and windows. Now, all of these are big ticket items and you want to make sure that they're all in working condition before moving forward in a contract. That definitely sounds like an important step for our buyers. What, at what point would you say you would perform the home inspection? Is that done before you go under contract, while you're under contract, right away? What's the time frame? So actually all of those can be done. Uh, typically in a normal market, we would do the home inspection three to seven days after date of ratification. Date of ratification meaning the day that the buyer and the seller both agree to the terms in the contract and have both signed. Now the market we're experiencing today, it's very typical to do a pre-inspection, meaning you're going to meet your home inspector before even submitting an offer. During one of the showing times, you're going to check out all of the components of the home and make sure that you're happy and content with the uh, way that everything's working. From there, you'll submit the offer, meaning that you can waive the home inspection at this point, and it gives you, honestly, a better chance at winning the contract in a competitive market. Yeah, I've had tons of buyers win contracts from doing that right now. We'll have to talk about how to win in a competitive market in another video. Um, so now that we know about the time frame, what types of home inspections are there? Like, is there different? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. So when you're writing an offer, uh, you're going to have three different types of home inspections. You're going to do the home inspection with option to negotiate, uh, where you're going to either work out with the seller or the buyer the terms of how the things are going to get remedied in the home that need uh, to be replaced. Uh, the other option is void only. That's very common in a market like today where you're going to be submitting an offer and you're basically going to yes or no with moving forward with the contract. Everything looks like it's going to be in pretty good working condition. You're going to move forward with the contract or you have the option to void and completely walk out at that point. Kind of like pass or fail. Exactly, mm -hmm. pass or fail. Um, the third, you could just waive the, the home inspection, which uh, we honestly recommend in a competitive market like there is now and if you don't feel like waiving the home inspection because it is a little you know a little uh, can be scary gut-wrenching then we definitely recommend doing a pre-inspection yeah I've had some people do um, home inspections for information purposes only as well which is another option you just won't have an option to void or um, to negotiate but at least that way you know what you're getting yourself into after you own the home <laughs> <laughs> exactly so now you know the different types of a home inspection what's an appraisal yeah so an appraisal is another contingency that you can include in the sales contract what that means is the bank comes in and determines what the new home that you're purchasing is worth versus the rest of the neighborhood so they're going to be looking at the current condition the upgrades the exact location and they're going to be determining the true value of what they think your home is worth so remember this value could be different than the zillow and trulia online estimates um, this is an, an exact true value so when you have that contingency in your contract for example what that would look like is if you're willing to pay for the sales price eight hundred thousand dollars for a home and you have your appraisal done and they determine that the home is only worth $775, you'll have an opportunity to go back and negotiate with the seller to bring the price down to that appraised value of $775. And if you and that seller cannot come to an agreement, um, you'll have an opportunity to back out of the contract. So it's just another way to protect yourself. I see. So it looks like it may be more to the benefit of the buyer than the seller. In a competitive market, I know we want to benefit the seller as much as possible in presenting an offer, right? For sure. So um, how can we waive that appraisal? So a buyer can choose to waive their appraisal um, at any point, really. So what they have to keep in mind, though, if you're going to do that is, for example, say you agree to a sales price of 800000 and the appraisal comes back at seven fifty-five. 
you're going to have to make up that difference in cash. You're not going to have the opportunity to go back to the seller and negotiate that sales price back down. So just something to think about if you're gonna waive your appraisal, uh, maybe have your agent and yourself look at the recent comp, see how likely it is for it to truly appraise that much lower. Um, if it's gonna be somewhere close to that number, you might be okay. Um, another thing that some buyers are doing right now is they're waiving their appraisal up to a certain value. And some people right now are also getting appraisal waivers, which is awesome for buyers. Basically what that means is um, they ask their lender to do some research for them and the lender um, will submit it to Fannie and Freddie, the property and the sales price value. They'll take a look at how qualified you are. You do have to be putting at least 20% down on the home and you have to um, be using a conventional loan to qualify. Fannie and Freddie will look at the location of the home and determine the overall resale value and, and make sure it's a good candidate before offering the waiver. But if they are willing to offer you that waiver, that means no appraisal is gonna be performed at all, which is awesome. Then you don't have to worry about making up any difference in cash, don't have to worry about negotiating. It's just smooth sailing from there. Yeah, so it sounds like getting an appraisal waiver from your lender is definitely the way to go. For sure. So now that you know what an appraisal contingency is, Miguel, what is a financing contingency? So a financing contingency is a predetermined time frame in which the bank will thoroughly look through your finances and make sure that they are still in the same order that they were when you first applied with the lender, right? So they're gonna double check your work employment. They're gonna double check um, all of your finances and make sure you haven't you know, bought a new car uh, in between the time that you submitted the offer up until closing. Uh, the reason that it's important to have this contingency in place is because in case anything does happen with your financials within those 21 days or however long your financing contingency lasts, uh, that you're not in default of contract in case you can't perform. So today you learned about home inspections, appraisals, and financing contingency. Yep, so there are a couple other contingencies that are included more on a case-by-case -case basis. There's a rent back, sale of home, just to give a couple. We'll go into those on a later video. The main purpose of today was just to give you an overall idea of what contingencies you'll see in your sales contract when buying your next home. So make sure you subscribe below so you're notified next time we make a video. And as always, don't forget to buy, buy and sell, sell with, with Lindsay and Miguel. Miguel.